Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up another challenging question from exponential equations with factorials. Given equation is 256 raised to the power x factorial equal to square root 2 raised to the power x plus 2 factorial divided by 64 raised to the power x minus 1 factorial. x belongs to integer and greater than or equal to 1. So let's get started by considering squaring both sides. Power 2 power 2 and denominator also we will take power 2 now i will write one exponent property it is a power b whole power c equal to a power b times c let's take the product in the exponents so we will take the multiplication of these two and here also we will multiply these two and this is square root and square will be cancelled out so let me write here 256 raised to the power 2 times x factorial. Right hand side I will write in the numerator 2 power x plus 2 factorial. And in denominator I can write 64 raised to the power x minus 1 factorial times 2. Now I can write 256 as 2 power 8, 64 as 2 power 6. So let's substitute here. So I will be writing 2 power 8 whole power 2 times x factorial. Right hand side numerator will be as it is x plus 2 factorial and denominator we can write 2 power 6 whole power is 2 times x minus 1 factorial. Now left hand side it will be again application of the same identity same formula of exponent. So we will get multiplied these two numbers. So it will become 2 raised to the power 16 times x factorial. Right hand side it would be 2 power x plus 2 factorial divided by 2 power 6 times 2 will take the product 12 12 times x minus 1 factorial now i will write our equation in the terms of exponents so let me write here first 2 power 16 times x factorial then it is equal to 2 power x plus 2 factorial then denominator i will be writing 2 raised to the power 12 times x minus 1 factorial now i will write one property from exponents once again it is a power x over a power y then we can write a power x minus y so right hand side it would be LHS would be as it is 16 times x factorial. RHS would be 2 raised to the power x plus 2 factorial minus 12 times x minus 1 factorial. Now bases are same. So I will compare our exponents or powers. So we can write 16 times x factorial equal to x plus 2 factorial minus 12 times x minus 1 factorial or we can write x plus 2 factorial will keep in the RHS so it will become like this 16 times x factorial plus 12 times x minus 1 factorial now we will use recursive formula here let me write here n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial or n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on so let us use this formula so i will write our equation first x plus 2 factorial 
it is equal to 16 times x factorial plus 12 times x minus 1 factorial. Now let us write x plus 2 factorial as x plus 2 times x plus 1 times one decrement in that x again one more time x minus 1 factorial. Right hand side 16 x factorial. I will write x factorial as x times x minus 1 factorial. One decrement and plus 12 times x minus 1 factorial. Now factorial cannot be 0. So we can divide both sides with x minus 1 factorial. So let's divide. So this will be over. Here also we will cancel x minus 1 factorial. What is left? x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x equal to 16x plus 12. Let's resolve this. x square plus 2x plus x plus 3x plus 2 equal to 16x plus 12. So I can take the product x cube plus 3x square plus 2x minus 16x minus 14x and then minus 12 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. Straight away we can go for synthetic division and rational root theorem. So the factors of constant term 12 we can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 and so on plus minus 6 plus minus 12. Leading coefficient is plus minus 1. So I will straight away put x is equal to 1. Is this solution? 1 plus 3 minus 14 minus 12. No, it is not. Minus 1. So it will become minus 1 plus 3 plus 14 minus 12. Again, it is not. You can check with 2. Let me put here straight away x is equal to 3. Let me write this equation here. x cube plus 3x square minus 14x minus 12 equal to 0. Let us put x is equal to 3. So I will write here 3 cube 27. 3 square times 3, 9 times 3, 27. 14 times 3, 42 with negative sign, minus 12. Now you can see 54 minus 54, it is giving us RHS 0. So that means x is equal to 3 is our base solution. Let us write all the coefficient of cubic equation. So 1, 3, minus 14, minus 12. I will write leading coefficient as it is 1. Now take the product. 3 times 1, 3, 6. 3 times 6, 18, 4. 3 times 4, 12, 0. Here we are having coefficients for quadratic equation. So let's write equation x square plus 6x plus 4 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula this time x is equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square 36 minus 4ac, so 16, divided by 2a, so we will divide by 2. So it is minus 6 plus minus square root 20, which we can write 4 times 5, so 2 root 5, divided by 2. And after dividing by 2, we can write it is root 5. If you will see both the values, root 5 is 2.23. So it is always negative. Both values are negative. As per our problem, x is greater than or equal to 1. So we will reject both the values. Rejected. So which solution we will accept? That is x is equal to 3. Now x is equal to 3 is the only solution for this exponential equation. Let's verify. So I will write check 
एक्स इक्वल टू थ्री एल एच एस आई विल राइट टू फिफ्टी सिक्स रेज टू द पार थ्री फैक्टोरियल नाउ वन फैक्टोरियल इज वन टू फैक्टोरियल इज टू थ्री फैक्टोरियल इज थ्री टाइम्स टू टाइम्स वन सो सिक्स सो लेट मी राइट थ्री फैक्टोरियल सिक्स इज स्टेट अवे एंड आर एच एस इफ आई विल राइट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू रेज टू द पार एक्स इज थ्री सो फाइव फैक्टोरियल नाउ फोर फैक्टोरियल इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड फाइव फैक्टोरियल इज वन ट्वेंटी सो स्ट्रेट अवे वी कैन राइट टू रेज टू द पार वन ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटी फोर रेज टू द पार थ्री माइनस वन सो टू फैक्टोरियल टू नाउ वी कैन राइट एल एच एस एज टू रेज टू द पार एट होल पार सिक्स राइट हैंड साइड इट इज टू रेज टू द पार वन ट्वेंटी ओवर टू सो सिक्सटी डिवाइडेड बाई टू रेज टू द पार सिक्स होल पार टू सो टू पार सिक्सटी डिवाइडेड बाई टू पार ट्वेल्व अगेन वी विल अप्लाई द प्रॉपर्टी सो इट विल बिकम टू पार सिक्सटी माइनस ट्वेल्व विच इज टू पार फोर्टी एट एंड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड टू पार एट टाइम सिक्स फोर्टी एट बोथ साइड आर इक्वल टू इच अदर दैट मीन्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री is true and verified solution i hope friends this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care